What's up, this is Keith Kelfus. We're in a landscape job right now, and this is, was a perfect opportunity for me to shoot a video and show you that I just totally messed up when quoting this job. And I'm gonna show you how I messed up, and I'm feeling the burn right now, because I'm, <laughs> I'm losing money right now, and luckily it's only a $1,500 job, and not a $25,000 job. I'll show you where I messed up. This is live right now, right in the middle of a mess up. Okay, so this is actually one of my clients. A homeowner and this is uh she actually owns this factory the plan was so she had some janky nasty shrubs all overgrown all over in here we ripped them all out shrubs over there and there's red lava rock I said okay great save you some money we'll rip out all the shrubs for you plant some brand new shrubs from the nursery put in some nice new black diamond edging which we already installed and then what we'll do is we'll top dress it as you can see over there with brand new lava rock great right so when we start ripping the shrubs out I wasn't aware that the root system of the shrubs was going underneath all of the weed liner that was existing and all that weed liner was all rotted and very delicate to keep the weeds down as we started ripping out the shrubs it started ripping up all the old weed liner and mixing all the the dirt underneath with the existing lava rock and it's all mixed like salt and pepper now an inexperienced which this is a sign of inexperience right here but a really inexperienced landscaper would go and say oh fuck it we'll just put it all back plant the shrubs and then we'll top dress it with lava rock and get the get the hell out of here right no if I put fresh lava rock on top of all that after I plant these new shrubs that dirt right there is going to be a perfect laboratory for weeds to grow like crazy. So if my client paid me, you know, fifteen hundred dollars to install shrubs and put lava rocks in a month, she's calling me upset because there's weeds all over the place growing. What am I going to tell her? Okay, you can't do that. I had to call the client up and say, hey, listen. I had to tell her what happened and say it's going to be a couple hundred more dollars, and I suggest that we move all this lava rock to the side, put fresh weed liner barrier down. So this is just turning into a nightmare. It's cutting into my pay. That couple hundred dollars is just going to cover the materials. I'm going to take the bite for the rest of it, cover the labor, and just learn a hard lesson. So what we got to do, we got to scoop up all the good rock that doesn't have dirt in it, put it on tarps that's going to be hell. Then we have to take the old rock that's all mixed up with dirt and put it on tarps and haul it away to the dump. Then put weed liner down. Okay, I mean, then plant the shrubs, then put weed liner down then put the new rock down so a one day job has turned into a two day two day job and on top of it right now the, uh, my this morning my foreman was having some real issues and I had to send him home and I was counting on him being here so I have spent half the morning calling my customers rescheduling pushing jobs back this job has turned into a two day job so I'm actually losing like a thousand dollars right now <sighs> I'm having anxiety just talking about it but do the right thing so when something messes up and you mess up you gotta own up to it quick and do the right thing don't just do a half-assed job to get out of there because it's gonna bite you in the ass so this is where we're at right now when you mess up take that bite and do the right thing or it's gonna bite you in the ass times five because if you lie once you gotta make another lie to cover it up you gotta make another lie to cover that up and, and not be able to sleep at night is not worth a quick couple bucks okay and that's why you hear about these you know these fraudulent rip-off landscapers and these guys are hacks and this this and that you can't be that way so it, it's really because these guys are running around in anxiety losing money making mistakes and they're afraid I can totally relate to that and I know you could probably relate to that so yeah so here's the chance to do the right thing even though I'm losing money I know I keep repeating myself but I just want to pound that point in so I'm getting back to work and have a good day